Hey guys, it is Erika Misha and I am getting ready to start prepping and getting my uh, seafood uh, boil, roast, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to do just a little seafood basket today. It is Saturday. I'm uh, going to do it Saturday uh, for this afternoon. So I'm prepping it now so I can go ahead and get it um, cooked now. So let's see what we have in our seafood, um, seafood boil, whatever you want to call it. All right, so I have here, I have some frozen rock crab clusters. Got these from Winn-Dixie. Those were on sale. Look at that, guys. $11.11. .11. And that's like one, two, three, four, that's like six clusters. Can't beat that, I'm telling you. Um, and I got some Publix corn. Uh, Publix corn was like $2.69. Um, I got some hillside sausage and if you guys saw my Publix haul you'll see I got this stuff um, the beef and smoked sausage Hillshire Farms those were four dollars and nineteen cents um, I just grabbed uh, one potato a uh, rusted potato this was a dollar fifty nine um, I only have that potato we don't like a lot of potatoes in our uh, seafood roast seafood boil so that one potato will go a long way I'll cut it up into chunks like I said we don't really like a lot of potatoes in our seafood boil um, I have some um, these were the jumbo shrimp Publix had these on sale uh, 11 dollars a pound I got two pounds of those and those are the big jumbo shrimps you'll see them when I get them cleaned up and I've got some lobsters I've got three lobsters here I'm gonna cut those in half and put them in and I've got some boiled eggs and I've got my lemons of course my lemons here so it's just gonna be a little small little mini little seafood uh, boil so that's what we're doing and I will be back guys let's get this going okay guys I am back just wanted to do a quick um, video showing you guys what I put in my sauce um, as I just make like a butter sauce um, for my seafood boil um, so this is what I use um, definitely use the I can't believe it's not butter y'all know I love that butter um, I've got some garlic here. I've got some salt. We got oil bay. We got the oil bay garlic and herb. Got the oil bay blackened. Can't have seafood without that oil bay. Um, I have paprika. Um, I have the Weber New Orleans Cajun season. Um, I've got some red pepper, chopped onions. I've got some complete, uh, some seasoned salt, some garlic pepper season. Um, I have my parsley, of course. I have my chili powder, uh, black pepper grind, you know, it's in the grinder, grind black pepper. And those are basically it, guys. And I've got the uh, another type of garlic um, in the back there. But this is what I use, guys. It's just basic seasons I put together. And you know what? I also forgot I do add a little hot sauce to give it, you know, a little kick, a little spice. But I might, and I might not do that today. So, just depends. But this is what we're doing today. These are the seasons that I use. And I will show you guys how I make my sauce. Just wanted to show you um, the seasons that I use. I'll be back to show you how I make that sauce. Okay, guys, I am back. Um, and this is what I'm doing. I took my potato and I cut it up into small pieces. Not too small. You know, just medium size. You know, chunky enough for the, for the boil, seafood, seafood boil. Um, and I've got my eggs in the back boiling. I usually just let my eggs boil about 10 minutes. Not that serious. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get the potatoes in the oven. Um, I put the potatoes in the oven and I let them um, bake for about 10 or 15 minutes. That way they can already get themselves pretty softened up and, you know, pretty much almost done. Because I add everything together in my pan. So we all know the potatoes, they take the longest to cook. So. Um, I always pre-cook them, you know, kind of get them where they need to be uh, since they take the longest. So I always do that to my potatoes because sometimes if you add them to your boil, it just takes them longer to get done. So I always just kind of cook them ahead of everybody, you know, give them an extra, extra cooking time. And then that way when I add them, they're good to go. When everything's getting done and all melted and roasted together, your potatoes are good. So, you guys will see what I'm talking about. So, let me just go ahead and get these potatoes in. Those eggs should be finished in a few minutes. And, yeah, I'll be back, guys. Let you guys know what's next. Okay, guys, we are back. And I am getting ready to make my butter sauce. 
nothing fancy something simple that I make um and as you can see I already got my butter in here just cut my stove on so my butter is waiting waiting on the stove to get hot doesn't take my stove long at all I've got the butter in here okay got our butter in here I'm gonna go ahead and get that garlic in there with the butter make sure you guys can see you guys can see all right some leftover garlic I had in that one container go ahead and put my I'm putting all that is garlic in just a little small bottle so not that big of a deal I like a lot of garlic anyway all right garlic in there we're gonna get this sauteed up so we got some butter in there I just put a little bit of butter in there like half a cup of butter that's all I'm putting in there now get this sauteed up Wait till that start fizzing. Let's get that butter and garlic going. So I've got a little jar of garlic in there. Some leftover garlic I had. Whatever garlic you want to use. This is I'm just talking about what I do. This is just what I do. I've got half a cup of butter in there. Just to mix with that um, garlic. I've got my seasons over here all opened and ready to go so let's get my stove up here so we can get this going just a little quick butter sauce I make because this is the sauce that I'm going to pour over the uh, seafood once I get everything into the pan this I'm going to take this sauce and pour over it You okay, Amaya? All right. They're circling around me. They are circling around me. They are ready for the food. <laughs> they can smell the seafood. They can smell the butter and the garlic through the house. I can smell it. I'm ready to eat. All right, get that going. Let that simmer, simmer, boil, boil, come to a little, let that butter and garlic meet each other and the butter flavor and the garlic. We're going to give these two time to get to know each other and melt together and that's what we doing. Butter and garlic. Mm -mm -mm. That is the heart of your sauce. I'm gonna cut my fan on. No. Okay. Butter and garlic, and I'm gonna add my chopped onion. Now I don't use the whole onions. I buy the uh, chopped onions. That's what I buy. You got to remember, I'm cooking for kids. My kids are going to eat this. They're not going to eat onion onions. You know, they don't really like the... They don't really like the um, onion onions. So, I'll put in these chopped onions. Put those in there. Just like regular onions. They just chopped up. Ooh, we just chopped up onions. You know, to kind of trick the kids. They don't even know they're in there. They're all chopped and diced up. Oh, if you guys could smell this butter and onion. Butter and onion and garlic together. Yes. Smells amazing. Mm, 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 mm. Amazing. Look at that. Mm, mm. 
butter and garlic. And as you can see, it's starting to brown a little bit. So I'm gonna cut my heat down. Cutting my heat down and I'm gonna add, I'm gonna start adding my seasons. So. Okay. Adding a little complete. That New Orleans Cajun. I don't want it too spicy. My kids don't want it too spicy, guys. I'm going to add a little salt. I am going to add more butter, guys. I am going to add more butter. just want to get the base of it done. Add in my parsley. Y'all know i got to add my parsley. I add my parsley to everything. My paprika. This is just the base of our sauce, my red peppers, and we know these things can get a little spicy. I don't want to add too many red peppers. I don't want to add too many red peppers. That's enough. Let's give it another little stir. This is just the base for my butter sauce. Just the base. Of course, I'm going to add way more butter. I'm just making the base of it, the heart of the sauce. That's how I do it. Okay. Let's see what we add next. We add garlic, garlic pepper season. No, we need the garlic, but we already got enough. Garlic. All right, and I'm adding chili powder. Just a little chili powder. Just a little bit, guys. I'm adding the Oil Bay Garlic Herb. Oil Bay Garlic Herb. Adding the Oil Bay Blackened. Adding that. I am adding in my mixed seasons. And last but not least, my ground pepper. Alright, let's give this a stir. Ooh, it smells delicious. It smells so good, guys. It smells so good. Look at that. And see, this is just the heart of the butter sauce. See? It's just all your seasons with a little butter and garlic. All of them together. Meeting each other, getting to know each other. Marinating together. It's just this, the base of my butter sauce. I got all my seasons. I like, I like to do it this way. Tastes better this way. Get all your seasons together. I put a little butter, you know, to help everybody mix and meet. Mix and meat. We're gonna let that give that a minute to, you know, give that a minute to bubble, bubble, bubble. As you can see, it's bubbling a little bit. And while it's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and get the butter. More butter, because this is a butter sauce. And this is just the base for our butter. My old faithful, I can't believe it's not butter. Yep. Only butter I really use. Only butter I use. I love it. It's good. It's a healthier butter. You know, especially when you're using a lot of butter. This is a healthier butter, guys. It tastes tastes just fine. It doesn't taste all like diet with no taste. It tastes good. It doesn't taste all vegan. It tastes really good. It tastes like regular butter. You never know. You would never know. Let's 
recipe. Get that butter in there. Let that melt. That melt. That butter, we're just gonna stir it around so that butter can melt. You guys should smell this. It smells so good. You just want those butters, those pieces of butter to just go ahead and melt. Everybody to melt. Let me taste it. Mmm. Woo! Tastes amazing. Got a little spice. Not too spicy. A little spicy. Not too spicy like you think. It's got a little kick. I'm not going to add any hot sauce. I mean, my girls, they like a little spice, but I, I can't fix it too spicy. I don't really like stuff over spicy when you can't enjoy it. So. Guys, see? See that garlic and onions. All that's in there, guys garlic and onions and butter and all our seasons see that guys garlic is there now that we've got our butter all melted we're going to give this give this a few minutes Make sure we get our butter all mixed in with everything. Yeah. This is my sauce. And I just take it and pour it over my seafood. I'll let this sit a little bit and simmer. And that's my sauce, guys. That's my butter sauce. And I will be back. Okay, guys. As you see, our butter sauce is simmering. I've got it simmering. I'm going to take you in the pot. Taking y'all in the pot with that butter sauce. Yeah. I'm going to let that simmer for a few more minutes. Let all those flavors come together. Just wanted to show you guys the food. I've got all the food prepped. Uh, I've got everything all cleaned up. Um, excuse me. Okay. I've got the shrimp all clean. Uh, we've got our lemons all cleaned and sliced. Got our boiled eggs already. Got our sausages all sliced up. We've got our corn back there all washed up. And we've got our rock crabs um, and our lobster all cleaned up and scrubbed off. And I've got my potatoes back there. Just a little half baked there. Half baked potatoes. So you guys see I've got everything ready for the seafood boil. Got everything ready here. Everything's looking good. Look at that shrimp. Y'all know I'm taking y'all in. Ooh, look at that shrimp. Yes. And those are the Jumbo Colossal shrimps. They are huge, guys. These are the big ones. They're not prawns, but they are pretty big. They're not the prawns, but they're close to it. So, check you guys in on everything. Zoom in for you. Sausages. I got my sausages all cut up. You guys already saw my corn. Rock crabs back there. Lobster. Yep, got everything ready. And my potatoes back there. What y'all doing back there, potatoes? Got them all parsleyed up. Okay. So I think our butter sauce, I'll let that finish simmering over there. I'm going to go ahead. Let's get ready to get this seafood boil built. Get it into the pan. Y'all saw my pan I got for this on my haul, my Publix haul. Make sure you go watch that. You'll see all the good Publix deals. Um, how I got pretty much this stuff. Just cheap. I mean, it wasn't expensive. Um, the shrimp were $11.99 a pound. Uh, the sasha was $4. Corn was $3. Uh, the eggs, $1.55. I think the egg was for a dozen. Lemons, $0.70. Cents. 
I got four lemons. Uh, the rock crab, I got that whole colossal thing, this big thing of crabs. Um, I got that for $11 from Winn-Dixie. The lobster, I got the uh, three lobsters for like, what, $12, I think it was. So it wasn't expensive, guys. I mean, there's there's ways of doing your seafood, boy. It just, you know, you just got a bargain shop. And, you know, you don't want to spend a lot of money. I know I don't. So, all right, let's go ahead and get ready to build this seafood boil. I'll be back, guys. Hey, guys, it is Arika Misha. I am back, and let's go ahead and get this seafood uh, boil prep. So, first thing I want to do is I want to lay some of my uh, garlic butter sauce. I want to lay some of that in my pan. Yep, pour some of that in the bottom of my pan there. Let's get some of those. Let's get some of that garlic and those good spices. Don't forget about that. Get those around my pan. Yeah. Get that all around my pan. So some juices at the bottom there to get everything all cooked and garlic in. Got our butter sauce all in there. Okay. Now, all right. I'll throw a few shrimps down here. Just throw some shrimps down in the bottom here in the juices. Got a lot of shrimp, so let's get some shrimp down here. All right, let's get some corn. Some corn. I like putting the corns on the sides. Okay, let's get some eggs in here. Some eggs in there, guys. Yep, let's get some eggs down in here. Yep, make sure you guys can see that. Wash my hands so I can bring the camera down a little bit. I'll make sure you guys are able to see all of it. All down in this pan. Okay. All right. Guys can see. Yep. That's a good angle. Okay, you guys can see. All right, so let's add some sausages. Let's get some sausages here. Some sausages all over. All right. Let's get some potatoes. Some of those potatoes thrown around so they can get in and get some goodness going there. Throw some lemons in there. Let's get that sticker off that lemon. All right, yep, let's get some lemons thrown down in here. Put some lemons down in there. Yeah, so everything gets all lemon, lemony. Get some lemons in the corners here by this corn. Yeah. Let's get some lemons down in here. Okay. We are looking good. We are looking good. All right. Let's get some shrimp. Let's do our second layer. Get some more shrimps. We've got so many shrimp. Yep, shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. We've got so many shrimp. Yeah, let's get them in here. Let's get them in here, guys. Get some 
more sausage. Put some more sausage in there. Let's get the rest of our potatoes. Get those thrown all around. Spread the love. All right, we got our eggs. Let's get the rest of our corn. Get the rest of our lemon. All right, so we've got everything here. Wash my hands. All right. Let me take a quick picture for the gram. Can't leave them out, guys. Can't leave my Instagram team out. Hopefully, all of you guys are following me on Instagram at Arika Misha. Can't leave them out. Gotta take a picture for my Instagram family. You guys get to see behind the scenes. Let me see here. Get this light right. Take this quick pick for the ground. Come on, guys. okay picture oh, I think we can do better let's try to do better get a better picture for the ground yep oh yeah that looks like a good picture yep that's the pick we got for the ground you guys get to see it Got that picture for the gram. All right, we've got our butter sauce we need to get poured across the top here. Get my spoon now, get my spoon washed off. You guys see it? You see it first? Take you in for a closer picture. You guys are seeing it first. That looks amazing. Amazing. Let's get you guys back right so you can see. Uh -oh. Okay. All right. There you guys are. Okay. Got my butter sauce. Ready to just pour my butter sauce all over it. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. all those seasons. Hmm. Yes, amazing. Yeah, we're just gonna spread it all over. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. Get it all in the corners here on the side. Mm. Amazing, it smells so good. I cannot wait to eat. We got to make sure everything gets covered. Mmm. Everything gets covered. Look at that. Let me get you guys flipped. Turned around here so you can see. Oh my goodness. Oh, y'all know y'all going in that pot. Y'all going in that pan. Oh my goodness. Mm. Look at that. Oh, look at it. Oh my goodness. Look at it. Oh, y'all going in. Y'all go y'all gonna go in. Okay, okay, go ahead, go ahead. So delicious. I'm finna throw this in the oven. I mean throw it in the oven. Y'all hear me? I'ma throw this in the oven. Mm. Wee. Get that. Hmm. Let me bring 
Bring y'all back a little bit. Bring y'all back. Look at that. Amazing. Look at that. Look at that shrimp. That shrimp sausage. Oh, don't get lost in there. Don't get lost. Oh, don't get lost. Step away from the light. Look at that. Beautiful. And oh yes, guys. Oh, there, there's the crabs. Oh, don't forget about the crabs and the lobster. They're there. Now, my lobster and my crabs, I have to cook them separately from the other food because um, my little mama does not do well with uh, shellfish, crabs, anything like that. She does not do well. She breaks out. She is allergic. So, I just cook them separately. Um, and she, you know, unfortunately, she doesn't. She can't have any crabs or lobster. Any shellfish she can't have. Now, shrimp, she does fine with shrimp. Don't know why. Don't ask me. I don't know. But, yeah. This is the crabs. Like I said, I have to cook them separately. But, as you can see, oh, boy. We got them all seasoned up. They all see. Don't worry. They stay just as seasoned as everything else. And I'm going to put a little butter in there. Wrap these up, putting aluminum foil over them, and put them in the oven. I've got my oven already set to 375 over there. So we're going to go ahead and get the aluminum foil over the top of these. And get these in the oven. Probably about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Seafood does not take long. So look at those crabs. Look at those rock crabs. I live in Florida. Y'all don't know nothing about rock crabs? I live in Florida. I don't know. They call it rock crabs. Y'all saw how I showed y'all. They rock crabs. I don't know what that means. Crabs that crawl on rocks. I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's what it means. But yeah, guys. Let's go ahead and get this food in the oven. Let's get it in the oven. We ready. We is ready. All right, guys. We'll be back when I'm pulling it out of the oven. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, guys. I have taken the seafood boil out of the oven. Let's start with our crabs. Nice and hot. I'm gonna burn myself. I'll see that smoke coming off of it. Ooh, look at those crabs and that lobster. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. Take y'all around so I can see them lobster tails. Ooh, wee. Juices. Mm, 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 mm. Look amazing. Rock lobster. All right, and the big reveal. It's hot. It's hot. Ooh, -wee. look at it. And I know I gotta take y'all in for a closer look. Let's come around here. Let's find a good spot for y'all. Shrimp, sausage, all of it in there. Oh, look at the egg. Look at the egg. Look at the egg. Oh, look at it. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, lemons. Oh, wee. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, let me bring y'all out. Looks amazing. Wait, where y'all going? Okay. Looks amazing. Look at that. Look at that sausage. Ready for me to bite it. Looks amazing. Turned out delicious. It smells good. I know it's going to be good. I sampled a couple of pieces. I know it's going to be good. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. All right, guys, that is the seafood boil. We ready to dig in. We ready. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Arika Misha. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.